sometimes we get something in that I think um, is is really a great look at nostalgia, the ways they were thinking back in the ages. You know, it's uh, the IC seven twenty A Icon was definitely you know a lot of people called it a clunker radio because the the band change on it. As you change bands, you hear the relays. Not all bands. <laughs> and um, they did. They had these actuating relays that uh, were, were quite interesting. This one just came in today, actually, and I, I needed to fire it up, and I thought I might as well show you as I fire it up and see what, uh, what it does and doesn't do. Um, certainly um, uh, great little radios for, their, for, for the age that they are. Um, quite amazing. Uh, just having a quick look, and... Um, just into the monitor at the moment on dummy load, but uh, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, uh, one, two, three, five. So it's still getting, you know, in excess of 90 watts out, um, uh, probably, probably closer to, um, probably 100 watts on carrier. Let's have a look. Oh, wrong, more than 100, about 113 watts. Um, just showing into ready there. Um, but um, great, great old radios, these things. And um, finding them in good condition is, is getting harder. Uh, they're, they're certainly part of that family that we're, you know, you could accessorize and there are a lot of bits and pieces. And uh, uh, there, there was a lot of controversy, of course, over the, <laughs> you know, uh, but once you sort of got over that and decided that, hey, uh, none of that matters, you actually had a very nice uh, receiver. Now, let's give you an idea of the receiver. Uh, I haven't tested this one, so I might come unstuck on this. You never know. But um, let's just put uh, a little bit of signal in. Actually, I'll just pop up. Uh, what have we got there? I five a microphone. I'm just chucking in there. Well, this could be... I'll just turn my monitor down. We're hearing more of the monitor than we are the radio. That's... Okay, 0.5 a microvolt. I'm hearing attenuator works obviously, um, and it's hearing it fine. But I, you know, I've got to say, when I go down to 0.1, which we'll have a bit of a look at, yeah, minus 123, I'm losing it. So probably not as super sharp as we'd like it. Um, but this was a, look, this wasn't a fault in the radio. This was just a characteristic of the radio, and. Um, I wonder if it's just a little bit off frequency. Let's try something here. Go back down to point one again. Oh, look, I can, yeah, I can hear it at, at point one minus 123. I can just hear it in there. So, look, not, not staggeringly bad. Um, actually, we'll just go back up. Let's put 50 microvolts into it. Should be about S9 or so. Just a little bit over S9. So, yeah, look, that's, that's pretty normal. All right, let's turn it off. Okay, so what have we decided uh, on the receive? Re look, receive's fine, it's, it's no problems. Um, we just know that when we test newer 2000 plus stuff that we're able to get to minus 123, probably not you know, always noise free, but generally noise free. Um, with this, we're not quite getting to minus 123 noise free. Uh, we're, we're probably, you know, it's 0.5 of a microvolt is still quite uh, good, which is, is fine, I'm you know, happy with that. It's power output for the age of the radio. Absolutely fantastic. I was just really surprised. Um, they were a fairly basic layout. Um, just might gain RF power. You could actually, you know, dial that back. Um, and um, uh, from memory, what was the compression all about? Oh, you could turn compression off there. That's right. Um, so that would be full power compression off, uh, compression on there. And um, there were a few other little just things that you could do. You could go to CW narrow. Um, reverse sideband etc with the function switch and then back to lower sideband etc etc so overall you know not a lot of controls on here they're gonna make you go oh my god you know uh even the you know switching here is just really just for um running up on the band a bit a bit faster or slower etc as you can see but um but overall you know this is a 1980s radio that um Icom sold a lot of these. They, they sold a heck of a lot. Um, no question about that. 
and um, but it, it was a bit of a no frills sort of radio. Um, I'll just see if we can hear anything on an antenna. Okay, just having a quick look at the Candos group. Uh, just on a bit of wire here, so no one's awfully strong. Uh, keep in mind, um, there's no RF preamp um, or preamp level one, preamp level two. Um, so what you're seeing is a you know real reading. Now that's Colin VK4 PDX. It's not bad on a good wire actually. Obviously some stronger signals there. No. Look, receiver actually, uh, for a bit of wire sitting off it, quite impressive. A little bit sort of distant there, in and out. That might be a park station there. But you get the general idea. Um, you know, they weren't a bad receiver for, you know, for what they were. And, um, you know, just uh, that little quick test there. Um, that's not even on one of our beams. That's just on a bit of wire. And um, as you can see, without, you know, all the fancy preamps and bits and pieces, ah, it's doing all right. That's not doing too bad. Um, this one actually came with the um, original Icon mic, which was nice. They used to drive very well, these things. They actually uh, drive the radios beautifully. But um, don't know if on this wire would be strong enough to get into um, the boys on the on the net here. I, I Signals are not great. I probably need to um, throw the beam on. I won't bother for now. Uh, that's Ron VK5 MRE. And he's down a fair bit there. And there's Tom VK2 KF. So, yeah, signals definitely look, could be just this wire that I'm running, but they do seem to be a little bit down um, at the moment. But uh, there's no worries. Anyway, okay, so this is the IC720A. Nice just to have a bit of a quick look at it and run it up. Um, uh, sometimes I don't get a chance to uh, look at radios for, for months when they get boxed up and sent over. And I just happened to open this box up and I had a clear bench for a second. I thought, well, better take advantage of that. It's um, very rare I get a clear bench. 73 is all the best to you, and uh, uh, please subscribe and hit the bell and all that sort of stuff. Cheers.